Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel and in front of me I have opened the game Under the Waves on the Steam Deck and in this video I am going to show you settings that you can tweak to further extend battery life in playing this game. And I'm going to show three areas where settings are located for tweaking to extend that battery life. The first area is going to be within performance of the Steam OS overlay. The second is going to be in Power Tools, part of the Decky plugin suite. Power Tools is a plugin. And the third area is the in game settings for the game Under the Waves. So, with that, let's jump in to our performance area on the Steam Deck overlay. Looks like the battery here, and I just hit the hamburger or excuse me the ellipses button here to access the overlay let's start with the performance settings here where the battery icon is located I'll start with the frame rate limit and here I have this set at 40 with the refresh rate at 40 however for this game I've decided that I recommend running it at 30 frames at a 30 frame limit instead of higher due to the performance demand of the game on the Steam Deck as 30 we can achieve a more stable frame rate depending on the TDP set the wattage drawn for the APU at 30 instead of 40 however keeping the refresh rate at 40 and using the in-game settings to set that 30 frame rate limit moving on half rate shading is enabled this can be preferential with this as i've explained in my other videos that it can cause text to blur it is a battery saving measure in this game like other games i have not seen it but just look for that in case that you do now for thermal power limit usually with my videos i have a hard recommendation at a certain limit but this one i actually am going to give a range from 9 to 15. and the reason i give that range is depending on your preference for frame rate drops, you will want to have a higher TDP than a lower TDP. And this is to be expected when we increase, decrease the TDP limit for the APU because it's going to make a performance impact unless you have diminishing returns when you increase the wattage over, for example, 25 or, or 28, getting into the 30s. But here what I see is if I drop down to 8, the game struggles to even push sound through the speakers. There's a staticky sound that comes through. Now with 9, there are so many frame rate drops, at least in my experience in testing playing this, that it is not preferred, at least for me. 10, there are noticeable frame rate drops, but it's not enough for me to put down the game or say this game is not performing well. But the closer you get to 15, the more stable that 30 frame rate range is going to be. So I would start with 10 and increase as you want to for that. And it just depends on how much you want to extend your battery as well with 10 to 15. Moving forward, we are going to have SS FSR, Fidelity FX Super Resolution enabled. And our FSR sharpness is going to remain at the default 5. So those are the settings for performance. Let's now move to the Power Tools plugin within the Decky plugin suite. So we're going to go down here, just using the direction pad, going to select A for Power Tools. Let's start with the CPU components of the APU and those specific settings. As you've seen in my other videos, a typical go-to is to enable or disable SMT. For this game, I have SMT disabled which means we are going to be dealing with four threads instead of eight threads and instruction for simultaneous multi-threading. Since that is disabled, we're going to be drawing instructions not from multiple threads at the same time. And this game can run well with SMT disabled and four threads being used. However, I do not recommend going below four for the threads used. Our frequency limit for the CPU component is going to be set with a range. The default range for the minimum is 400 megahertz and our maximum range is going to be 1700 megahertz. So that is going to be below the base clock for this APU, which is going to be 2.4 gigahertz. That is the base clock. Our governor mode is going to be set to power save. That's typical with 
my videos that I make that I revert this to power save instead of the schedule toolie or schedule till. Moving to the GPU component, and in my other videos, I typically set a limit for this here in frequency limits. However, I do see with this game that there is a demand. You can actually see it on the overlay on the left hand side that our usage is in the 90s. This game is demanding for graphics on the graphics component of the APU and we're actually close to the 1.6 gigahertz which is going to be the highest clock speed to achieve. So I did not try to lower the clock speed range for this and instead just let it run as is to create a stable experience in playing the game but setting a lower frequency limit can create a measure for extending battery life with downclock memory i had this disabled but what i did realize in my testing is that and, and this is to be expected as well with downclock memory enabled we are going to see more of a load and more of a demand on the cpu component of the apu and the game will run you can enable this but what you are going to need to do is when enabling downclock memory is enable smt instead of disable it and make sure that you are going to run the eight threads instead of the four but i do still see that the loads or are going to be higher except they aren't high enough to create a bottleneck to occur. Now, if you had downclock memory enabled and SMT disabled instead of enabled, then you're going to see those ranges in the 90s just in idle in playing the game. And so that is going to create a bottleneck experience close to a bottleneck experience there with a high load on the CPU component of the APU. So that is a route you can take. However, the route I am taking is to have downclock memory disabled and then have that SMT enabled using the four threads, setting that frequency limit on the CPU component of the APU and then leaving the GPU frequency limit speed alone since it's closer to the 1.6 gigahertz there. So those are the settings for the power tools. Oh, and one note that I would like to add is we do have SNR, FSR enabled and that does put more of a load on the CPU component. So you may be thinking, okay, well, I can downclock memory and then I can just disable FSR. Only problem that you may see is it's going to be a struggle for your frame rates to be closer to 30 as already with the lower TDP limit, you're going to see those drops to the lower 20s. And in some points, especially with the nine watts, you're going to see the upper teens as well. So I would recommend if you're going to go that route to at least have the TDP limit set at 15 compared to a lower number if you want that FSR disabled. Honestly, downclocking the memory, it's quite a bit of work. There's much that has to be thought about for it. And that doesn't mean it's a bad route, but just understand that the settings are going to be different than the ones I've laid out here. But I at least wanted to provide some details to that in case you were thinking about a different route and want to downclock that memory. So with that, we have reviewed the settings for the Power Tools plugin, and we can now look at the in-game settings. So I just went out of that, and I'm hitting my hamburger button here on the top, and I'm going to scroll down to, actually it's in the middle here, under Continue, it is Options, I'll just select A, and then we are going to go into graphics and here I have the display mode set at full screen that was there by default our 720p resolution is set that was also set by default next is our quality mode now going into the game our quality mode is set to high instead of low and I changed this to low however with this game and I haven't seen this in other games, and you can let me know in the comments if you have seen it in other games, but there is a eco mode, which is made to run with low power performance enabled and those settings enabled, which when enabling that, which I did here, and I recommend it because it, it works well in alignment with the other settings that we have, especially if you have a higher range on the TDP instead of the lower range, like 15 watt, 
run the game runs great with a stable 30 at 15 watt and it's very infrequent that i even see a drop and it's not a drastic drop at all for the frame rate but even though with the 10 watt it's still a great experience so i did enable this and what happens when you do that is the quality mode is automatically reverted to low expectedly so with this game and brightness and contrast i would adjust those to your leisure and the v-sync is enabled and the lock fps down here which i referred to earlier in the video is set at 30 so here you have 60 and 30 there isn't a range like a 40 range i would try to run it at 40 but honestly with the demand that the game has on the gpu component of the apu i really think that 30 is the better number to go with instead of a higher number as that would require more than 10 watt for the tdp limit based on my testing done at least so with that those are the settings for all three areas and with that we can go ahead and look at some gameplay here Data sent. Tim, you getting this? Still in this meeting. Prep coal still burns. Intact. Transmitting. That should be all of it. Moving on. You don't belong in here. Look, I call you now. Stan. Yeah. New task. The brass don't want the storm to affect the bottom line, but regulations mean we can't run the refinery in hazardous conditions. So, we're up in the extraction point. Until the storm really hits. Maximum. No, Tim. Bad idea. The pressure alone is going to... I know. I know. But orders are orders. My hands are tied. Just get to the refinery. I'll walk you through the procedure. Monday. 
Let's go ahead and see. Dad first met her. He would blow three sheets to the wind. Don't remind me. She drank you both off the table, as I recall. <laughs> I've been a good five rounds on her. Good times. I miss. Let's to get back to. All right, and that is our video of the game Under the Waves on the Steam Deck and settings you can tweak to extend battery life in playing this game. So let me know in the comments, are you playing this game? If so, what settings are you using to extend battery life? And have you tried the settings in this video as of yet? All of this, do let me know in the comments. So with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.